Good afternoon. My name is Andrea and I'm working at CIMO on the optimization and implementation of DNA metapar coding in bee collected pollen to identify its botanical origin. Started this work by making a comparison with classical pollenology. The identification of botanical origin of mixed pollen samples collected by bees has several applications, as it is illustrated in these recently published papers. Some of these applications include unraveling, unraveling plant pollinator interactions, determining botanical origin of honey, monitoring allergy related airborne pollen sources, and long distance insect migration tracking. Another promising application is monitoring pesticides used in crops by linking botanical with pesticide identification of the pollen pellets brought into the hive by NAB foragers. This will allow the use of bees as a powerful tool for environmental monitoring, which is the ultimate goal of an ongoing project named Insignia. The data that I'm presenting today were obtained in the framework of Insignia and represents a step forward towards achieving this goal. Insignia involves the development of a citizen science protocol for NAB colonies as biosamplers for pesticides. To that end, eight citizen scientists from across nine European countries collected pollen samples bi-weekly between April and September of 2020 from traps placed in front of beehives. These beehives were located in different land uses to provide a contrasting range of expected pesticides exposure and plant diversity. Over 800 and and 10 mixed pollen samples were collected in 2020, and these have been analyzed for pesticides by the Insignia team from the University of Almeria, as well as for botanical origin by our team in Simo. The botanical identification of pre collected mixed pollen samples have typically been done by classical pollinological methods involving identification of pollen grains under a light microscope. However, this method is laborious, requires expert knowledge, and often only provides family level identification. DNA metabar coding is emerging as an alternative to classical pollinology because it potentially allows species level identification without expert knowledge of pollen based taxonomy. Moreover, decreasing costs in a high throughput sequencing are making metabar coding increasingly affordable. Whether DNA metabar coding provides reliable botanical identification of pea collected mixed pollen pellets is uncertain, with very few papers looking into this matter. Therefore, before DNA metabar coding could be used in the Insignia project to identify the citizen scientist samples collected across Europe, it was important to compare it with standard pollinology, and this was the main goal of this study. To achieve this goal, 61 pollen samples were collected from pollen traps set up in front of beehives from eight European countries in an, an attempt to capture a wide botanical diversity. These pollen samples were sent for our lab in Simu for metabar coding analysis. But before uh, analysis, the 61 samples were homogenized in order to obtain homogeneous subsamples and split into two subsamples of 50 mg each, as it is shown in the video. One set of the 61 subsamples was analyzed by pollinological experts from the Institute, Institute of Apiculture, located in Germany using light mic microscopy. The other set of 61 subsamples was analyzed by DNA metabar coding using the ITS2 region. This method was performed in CIMU and CVU. The first steps in CIMU comprise a pollen, the pollen homogenization followed by its DNA extraction. For the extraction, it was used a commercial kit with the implementation of a bean mill step to help the disruption of the pollen walls. After that, a PCR was performed with two goals. The amplification of the target region, ITS2, and the incorporation of the MySeq specific adapters. The last steps were performed in CBU 
and consist in a second in a second PCR with the goal of incorporating the indexes, followed by a normalization of the samples so that every sample has the same final concentration and, in the end, all of them have a balanced number of reads. The normalized samples are pulled and validated with a real-time PCR and finally go into the MySeq for sequencing. The reads generated by the MySeq platform were filtered, merged and classified at the taxonomic species level using a pip pipeline implemented at the IPv servers. However, in this specific study, the analysis were performed at family level since most of the times it is the taxonomic level given by palynology. Relative abundance at family level were calculated for each of the 61 subsamples from pollen grain counts and read counts obtained with palynological and, and metabarcoding. In this table, I present two samples where we can see the relative abundance of palynology and metabarcoding. For example, in the sample I4, Fagasia and Rosacea are the most abundant families in both methods, but Asteracea only appears on the palynological method, while Ranunculacea appears on metabarcoding. Overall, Brassicacea, Rosacea, Fabacea and Fagasia were the most abundant families in the sample, in sample pollen, although the importance varies across countries, with the example of Rosacea being more abundant in Denmark, France, UK and Italy, and rare or absent in Austria, Greece, Latvia and Portugal. This result suggests that the bees are foraging on a wide range of plant taxa, some of which are crops, suggesting that they can operate as a good environmental sample. A Wilcoxon sign rank test was made to compare the two methods, and as we can see, almost all of them weren't statistically significant, which means the two methodologies are similar. Overall, palynology and DNA metabarcoding show a good correlation, with Italy, Latvia and the United Kingdom with the best correlations. Some outliers can be spotted, mainly in Denmark, Austria and Greece. These samples are going to be reanalyzed to make sure that it wasn't a sequencing or defect. France, which has a small number of samples with only two, show a wide interval of correlation due to one of the samples having a negative correlation. The sample is also being reanalyzed. Apart from it, Greece shows the worst correlation between these two methods, with a median correlation around 0.5. The Danish outlier with a correlation around 0.4 is in this table. Most of the families are present for both methods, but with completely different abundance. Although these preliminary results suggest that ITS2 metabarcoding is a promising alternative to the classical polynology, we are Sanger sequencing B plants to enrich the ITS2 database in the hope of improving the taxonomic classification. There is a lack of samples in Portugal, France and Latvia, and so more mixed pollen samples are currently be being identified for both methods for a more robust comparison, also with the introduction of new European countries. The second year of insignia is underway, and the samples collected through the year are being prepared and analyzed. To finish, I would like to thank the Insignia Consortium for sending the samples and I would like to say that I am humbled to be part of this enormous and amazing project.